decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Three. Three. Oh, three times. Three times. All of you from Indiana. Uh, I'm Pastor Nain Corey, uh, founder of the First Baptist Church here in Bethlehem. And 35 years ago, I was born in the old city of Jerusalem. My grandfather was a Greek priest. I had 11 uncles and cousins, Greek priests. Thank God, 30, uh, 47 years ago, first time in my life where I heard the gospel in Jerusalem, the Lord touched my heart and the Holy Spirit touched me that night and I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior. I'm glad I did. I, since that time, I had peace, joy, happiness in my heart and went home very happy, very excited. Somehow I could not share that with my family. To be the baby among 10 children, to be raised in a priesthood home, it was very hard, very difficult for me. And uh, I kept it secret for a week, and the Spirit of the Lord started to deal with me. You cannot keep it secret. <laughs> you have to share what's happened with you, with, the, with your family. That's all I'm willing to I start sharing with my mom about it. And she was amazed, you know, what this born again term. It was not known in the Middle East in those days, a long, long time ago. And she said, what kind of religion is this? I said, it's not a religion. It's a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. She could not understand that. And she said, be quiet. Don't say anything about it because you would cause a lot of problems in the family. I said, I'm sorry, I can't be quiet. And, uh, I started to share the gospel, I started to have hard times, difficulties, and the persecution came my way. And from the beginning of my life with the Lord, I learned how to pray. I, the Holy Spirit started teaching me how to pray. And I started to pray for the salvation of my family. God is what I was going through. After seven years of persecution, my mind came to the Lord. Oh. As I said, to God be the Lord. She and I, we start to pray for the rest of the family. And then year after year, to make the story short, year after year, all my brothers and sisters came to know the Lord as their Savior. And uh, it took 27 years to pray for my oldest brother, uh, the last one. And the Lord touched his heart one day, and he accepted the Lord Jesus Christ in one of my meetings in, in Jerusalem. He lives in the Mount of Olives very difficult situation there and he was murdered 12 years ago by his neighbors there and he was a great witness for the Lord Jesus Christ and our question always been somebody has to pay a price to serve the Lord Jesus Christ somewhere around the globe and we need to understand that I'm glad that you could come today just to share with you my heart and to see what's going on we go through a lot of difficulties, a lot of opposition, a lot of difficulties, a lot of persecution here in our, in our church, in our ministries. I started this here uh, 35 years ago, and we started uh, eight different ministries in the West Bank, in Jerusalem, and my son, a pastor in North Jerusalem, and the Lord is doing and touching so many lives. The more I just want to share this with you. The more we face persecution, the more we face difficulties, the more God is opening doors. With all the situation that we went through, a lot of people said all these years, oh, you next month, next week you'll close down. But the Lord said, I promise, I promise to you, I will never leave you or forsake you. We run over 300 
people in our church, the largest Palestinian born again Christian uh, evangelical church in the land, here where you are here. And uh, we have church in Jericho, with our city, North Jerusalem, my son, we have our Bible school, we have youth center, we have Janine, we have uh, uh, God is doing great, great mighty things. And uh, we just give God that glory, regardless of what's happening. We know it's very difficult in our people. Uh, they cannot go and find jobs no more. The wall is built there. That prevent many people to go and seek for the provision for their families and all of that. And a lot of innocent people inside the wall are victims. And we had in our church 60. 5% unemployed, 65% unemployed the last 18 years. But we just uh, give God the glory for what He really is doing for us. And because I take a stand uh, on the Bible, the whole Bible, 66 books, the infallible, inspired Word of God, We've been attacked. This church been bombed 14 times. Mm -hmm. 45 years ago, I was shot four bullets down in the garage area. Because if you believe in the Old Testament, you believe in the covenant of God with Abraham, mm -hmm. and all of that, they accuse you of Zionist. But that's not so. We believe in the whole book as the 66 books that follow up inspire word of God. We cannot preach half of the gospel. Mm -hmm. We cannot preach and teach half truth. We have to teach and preach the whole truth about God's word. Mm -hmm. From the Old Testament, from Genesis 1-1 to Revelation 22-21. We are suffering for the Lord and we know, we know a lot of people pray for us and I'm glad you could come today just to see there are living stones in this land. I know you visit so many churches and you see the old buildings and stone, but here, this church, it's a living stone, a testimony for the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to keep doing this till Jesus comes or till he take us home. We want you to pray for us. We want you to stand with us. We want you to stretch your hand. And God lead you as a church with a passion to do something for our people. We appreciate that. We'll, uh, we, I'll give you our prayer card, and uh, we have all the information on our prayer card. If you feel, at least you pray, if you feel to do something, uh, all the information, just maybe just pass it back. And uh, whatever the Lord leads you to do, uh, that's between you and the Lord. Uh, no obligation on anybody. We just want to share our hearts with you. What God is doing here, I wish I had more time to share with you stories after stories where touch your hearts and make you cry because what people go through is not a joke. It's not a joke. And yet, they are standing for the Lord. They are refusing to give up. They are suffering and yet they said, we have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. And that's our theme in our church here. No turning back. We decide to follow the Lord. It doesn't matter. He paid it all on Calvary. He paid it all on Calvary. Whatever price we pay, it's not really compared to the price He paid. It's nothing. That's why I want to thank you, Stephen. One. Thank you, Saint Paul. Love to you, Pastor, to the whole church, to, for you to come here. I count it a great privilege to have you here. May the Lord bless you. We love you. Please pray for us. Correspondence with us. If you have any question concerning, we have an email. We have our website. You can go through, go see our website, see what God is doing, and uh, hope to. See you again here, maybe if not here or in America, we'll see you up in the air.
No turning back No turning 